There are quite a few options when it comes to hosting a website on your Raspberry Pi. It really all depends on what kind of website you're looking to build. My goal with this video is to educate you on some of the possibilities for hosting a website on your Raspberry Pi and based on your needs, point you in the right direction. Let's have a look. First thing that you need to understand with hosting a website on Raspberry Pi is the fact that you are most likely running a Debian based operating system. This is true if you're running Raspberry Pi OS or Ubuntu. But what does that actually mean and what advantage does it give you? Well, because you are running a Debian operating system, you can pretty much do anything that you can do on Debian or Ubuntu on your Raspberry Pi. So when looking for a website tutorial online, the tutorial does not have to be specifically about a Raspberry Pi. Instead, you can search for a general tutorial about how to host a website on Ubuntu or Debian, and it will still work on your Raspberry Pi. Knowing this alone will open up the possibilities of your Raspberry Pi, and that's not just limited to website hosting. So with that in mind, I wanna give you a few options to get you started with hosting your Raspberry Pi website. If you're starting from scratch here and don't already have an operating system installed on your Raspberry Pi, I recommend following my tutorial on how to set up your Raspberry Pi. So the first thing you wanna do is to install a web server on your Raspberry Pi. Regardless of what type of website you end up making, you will need a web server to manage the incoming page requests and generate the appropriate responses. I recommend either Nginx or Apache in this case, and I've made video tutorials on each one of these web servers. Okay, so let's go over some Raspberry Pi website ideas. And by no means is this a comprehensive list of Raspberry Pi website ideas, but it's a great way to get you thinking in the right direction of what type of website you want to build. Your first option here is a basic static HTML and CSS website. And this is a great way to learn the fundamentals of websites if you're not already familiar. The next option is a dynamic PHP website. If you are already comfortable with HTML and CSS, you can make your web pages dynamic with PHP. Because PHP is a scripting language, you can, for example, insert and retrieve information from a database, whereas this is not possible with HTML alone. The third option here is to create a blog with WordPress. Now, if you're looking for something that doesn't require any coding whatsoever, you can install something like WordPress that gives you blogging functionality out of the box. WordPress is fully customizable with thousands of downloadable themes and plugins that are super intuitive to incorporate into your website. The fourth option is to build a Python website with Django. I worked with a company called Linode to create a tutorial on hosting a Django website on Ubuntu. And like I said, any tutorial that is good for Ubuntu will also be good for your Raspberry Pi. Now that you have a basic understanding of your options for hosting a website on your Raspberry Pi, I suggest that you first start out by setting up your Raspberry Pi like we do here, and then proceed to install a web server on your Raspberry Pi like we do in this video, which will teach you that as well as hosting a static website with HTML. Guys, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.